So kenapa balloon tu volume dia rendah? Ha, ni sebenarnya kalau ikutkan uh, apa nama tu? Gas law. Okay, gas law. Tapi dia berkaitan dengan pressure of gas. That's why dia duduk kat sini. Tapi basically ialah gas law. So gas law kita ada belajar. Mm -hmm. Thank you for purchasing. Siapa pula purchase ni? Okay. So in gas law, volume reduce bila pressure increase. You push into in, into the deeper water, so pressure of water will increase and the volume of gas inside the balloon will be reduced. Okay, so cikgu cuba, cuba korang ingat balik kalau gas law, gas law basically chapter 4. So which law? Uh, which law? Kalau gas law, which law? Pressure and volume. Okay, siapa ingat? Aku petang-petang dah tak ingat dah. Okay, so which law related to pressure of gas and volume of gas? Law mana? Kita recap-recap balik. Ada tak? Anyone want to try? Okay, cikgu bagi idea. Huruf B. Boy's law. Okay, boy's law. Okay, so higher pressure, deeper water, higher pressure, the volume of gas inside the balloon will be lower. Okay, boy's law. Benoli, Benoli belum lagi. Benoli, Benoli baru lepas ni. Uh. Okay, so ni pun sama macam kita cerita semalam uh, Style lah Dayang, uh, tu lah Dayang depan dia ada buku tu Okay, diagram 13 show a log floating on the surface of water So floating So floating dia kita tahu dah This is an Arche Archie Medes principle Okay, so dia kata apa? Semalam kita dah discuss. So the weight of this log. Okay, weight dia. Is equal to. Dia punya. Force ni. Buoyant force. Okay, so a buoyant force is equal to weight of water displaced. Okay, and weight of water displaced, you can calculate using the density of the liquid times the volume of liquid displaced times gravity. Okay, cuma this question is, which statement is correct? Dia tanya tu je. Macam mana dia boleh terapung? Uh, so, dia terapung because the weight of that log is equal to the buoyant force. Okay. Dalam kes yang ini, kita tengok C eh. Density of log, density of water. Okay, kalau density of log lagi besar, maksudnya dia akan tenggelam lah. Ha, kalau density of water, density of log higher than density of water, dia akan tenggelam. Okay, and tengok D, kenapa dia density of log is not equal to density of water? Ha, sebab dia different object. Okay, and Object density, kalau for object, for the log, nak kira density dia, mass over volume. Okay, tapi kalau water tadi, uh, okay, water tadi sama jugalah, density, mass over volume. Cuma, kalau compare, density of log should be lower. Okay. Alright, nombor 40 tolong tanda nombor 40. Okay, tanda. Why? Sebab ini application yang ada digunakan in reality. Uh, a plimso line. So kapal. Okay, kapal ni. Dekat kapal tu bila dia duduk dekat laut ni. Okay, so ni air ni. Ni maknanya ni air tau. Ni air. 
Ha, yang bawah ni kira uh, kapal tu punya shadow. Okay. So that's the level of water. So daripada line ni, dia boleh tahu that dia berada dekat kawasan mana. Ha, kalau macam TF tu, tropika. Okay, tropika. Tropika something like tropika lah. Uh, dia adalah dia punya term tu, F tu apa, T tu apa, S tu apa, uh, W tu apa Okay, different, different, different uh, apa tu Alphabet is basically representing different uh, kawasan uh, Different water Okay, different water uh, Different sea water uh, So, dia ada air tawar, dia ada air macam-macam lah diikut dia punya kawasan Okay, so ini kalau dia punya konsep is kalau contoh cikgu pakai warna biru and cikgu tanda pam sampai dekat line TF maksudnya nampak macam kapal tu dah tenggelam dah. Ha okey so maknanya maksimum air sampai TF tu. Sebab atas TF tu dah tak ada. Okey. So maknanya kapal tu dia tahu bila dia pergi TF dia berada dekat kawasan at the water has the lowest okay lowest density ah kalau dia duduk dekat atas maknanya kawasan tu ada lower density kalau kata dia pergi dekat kawasan laut tu and then the water oh lemak tu balik and the water only naik sampai W Okay kat bawah tu, dia sampai W je Sampai kat bawah ni je Haa maknanya kapal tu Berada Dekat kawasan Higher density Okay Higher density So that sea water, different sea water Okay, first different sea water, number two different apa orang panggil eh? Cuaca kot. Ha, different cuaca, different weather. Kalau mu musim sejuk lain, musim panas dah di effect sikit. Okay, sekejap kita tengok chat. Why is important to know the density? Oh, supaya kapal tu tahu berapa load dia boleh angkut. Okay, dia boleh, dia boleh. Maksudnya, uh, dia kena tahu dia nak pergi mana. Okay, so macam, macam contoh tu korang tengok yang apa, kapal bawa barang kan. Contoh daripada China, nak bawa pergi Malaysia. Bukan semua angkut pakai kapal terbang. Okay, certain things is too heavy. Tak boleh nak angkut pakai terbang pun tak boleh. So, dia akan hantar pakai kapal laut. So, bila pakai kapal laut, okay, dia kena check. Maknanya dia orang akan ada, akan ada lah engineer yang kira Okay kita nak hantar ni ke mana, mana laluan kita uh, Berapa maksimum load boleh masuk kat kapal Berapa kargo boleh naik uh, So itu semua uh, dia akan kira lah And another thing dia punya cara dia nak tahu kapal tu boleh angkut ke tak Is by this plimson line So dia tak boleh tinggi lagi daripada paras TF tu Kalau lebih daripada paras TF tu nanti kira kapal tu boleh tenggelam lah uh, So that's important untuk setiap kapal dia ada different size So dia kena tahu, every kapal dia berbeza Okay, so that line Akan bagi tahu dekat mana dia dah berada ha. Kan sebab nak travel daripada, daripada satu tempat ke satu tempat jauh Kan, kita bukan tahu laut mana, ha. bukan ada sempadan Okay, selamat datang ke Laut Antartik mana ada Tak ada Saya boleh jatuh Ha, yes, kalau nanti takut dia tenggelam So that's why dia kena tahu different dekat kawasan mana dia berada So dia tahu dekat mana dia berada, kapal dah sampai mana One of the thing, cara dia boleh tengok dekat Plimson line jugalah Okay I think TF tu tropical, tropical water Aku dengar baik benda jatuh je kau yang jatuh tu kan Aku tak dengar, tetap jatuh kau pun Relax, relax, relax Relax, hello, hello Kenapa tu Sofina, okay Jap, jap, jap. Ha. Okay. Alright. Plimson line is marked based on. Ha. So tengoklah soalan SPM. <laughs> soalan SPM dia tanya prinsip apa? So the answer will be 
Archimedes. Okey, so kalau trial mm, tak pasti dia pernah tanya ke tak tapi cikgu ustaz tak pernah tanya pun. Tapi ni korang punya as korang punya knowledge lah. Okey. So the answer will be easier. Archimedes. Uh, tapi tak best lah kalau tahu jawapan je. Okey, cikgu tak pernah naik kapal laut. Uh, first because cikgu mabuk. Mabuk laut. Even boat pun cikgu mabuk. Oh, tak tahu lah kalau korang naik kapal ke tak. Dulu berangan lah nak naik cruise. Hmm. Scary lah dulu. Ferry ha, Siapa yang? Apa? Scary naik cruise. Scary. Scary. Eh ha. go, kenapa saya tak makan Uber and seasick go? Eh tak nak lah. Uh, cikgu pernah pergi Langkawi naik ferry kan? Uh, naik ferry pun cikgu muntah kot. Lepas tu tak ada cikgu naik pergi Langkawi naik kapal, kapal terbang je lah. Wah. Ikim. Buat sistik tu function cikgu, function. Yeah, nanti cikgu cari. <laughs> apa, dia hilangkan mabuk ke apa? Cikgu, cikgu kena makan sebelum cikgu travel, like one hour macam tu. Lepas tu memang cikgu takkan rasa apa lah dalam, dalam boat. Dalam, dalam boat, yeah. Ha. Oh, boleh cari, boleh cari. Tu lah, dia macam tak best, tak best kat. Cikgu pernah, uh, hari tu cikgu pergi Sabah. Orang apa, my family nak pergi scuba everything kan. Ha, cikgu naik ke pergi juga lah. Tapi sampai-sampai memang tak scuba, duduk je lah. Rugi, rugi, rugi. Aduh lah. cikgu. Memang tak best tu. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So diagram shows a force acting on a hot air balloon. Okay. Kalau uh, Archimedes is not apply only to water. Okay. Dia apply juga to air, udara. Uh, contohnya macam ni. Hot air balloon. Okay. So tadi soalan dia lupa pula nak baca. Dia kata apa? Hot air balloon floating stationary. Okay. Stationary. So basically bila kita cerita Archimedes. Archimedes is basically a force. Sebenarnya dia pasal force. So bila pasal force, korang recap balik kita belajar chapter 2. It is about balance force and unbalanced force. So when you see a terms stationary je, ha, maksudnya kalau ada term stationary tu maksudnya balance. So macam ni dia boleh balance. So weight dia dekat bawah. Ha, sama dengan dia punya up thrust. Okay, the weight equals to the up thrust. Sama. Ha, sebabkan sama, that's why dia boleh terapung stationary. Okay, tapi kalau kata belu ni nak naik ke atas. Okay, belu naik ke atas bermaksud dia akan bergerak ke atas. There will be an acceleration. Ha, dia akan ada acceleration sebab dia naik ke atas. So, kalau dia naik ke atas, it is because the up thrust and weight, up thrust is bigger. Up thrust, bigger than weight. So, kalau kita nak cari dia punya force, ingat balik. Net force equals to mass of the balloon times acceleration of balloon. So, net force dia besar tolak kecil. Besar tolak kecil, U tolak W sama dengan MA. Macam tu. Okay, kalau dia turun bawah, hot air balloon tu nak turun bawah, nak jatuh balik. Okay, kalau nak jatuh balik sebab apa? Sebab waktu tu weight dia lagi besar daripada up thrust. Okay, so dia akan jadi weight tolak up thrust equals to MA sebab dia turun bawah. Okay, that's a different in three situation lah. Tapi because soalan dia, dia kata stationary, the answer will be A. Okay, kalau jawapan B maksudnya balloon tu jatuh ke bawah. Kalau jawapan C maksudnya balloon tu naik atas. Okay, the question is macam mana dia boleh naik atas? Ha. Okay, hot air balloon ada apa? Ha. Apa dia dekat hot air balloon? Yeah. Ada apa? Balloon. Okay. So dia ada, dia selalu ada apa? Apa nama tu? Macam api kat sini. Okay. Dia akan keluarkan api. Pak. Right. So kenapa dia akan panaskan lah benda tu. Ha, dia akan sama ada dia jadi lagi api tu lagi besar atau kecil macam tu lah. Tapi balloon tu memang insya Allah tak, tak terbakar lah. Sebab dia dah memang cipta bahan ni. Ha, bukan yang mudah terbakar lah. 
Okay, so kenapa dia letak api kat situ? Kenapa dia kena panaskan? Ha, dia panggil hot air. Okay, kenapa dia panggil hot air? So, bila dia panaskan kat dalam ni, apa jadi kat bahagian dalam ni? Okay, kat dalam tu ada hot air. So, kita ada fire tu kan? So, dia hot. So, bila dia hot, apa jadi kepada density of air? Decreases. Decreases, yes. So, density of air decreases. Sebab apa decreases? Sebab density is mass over volume. So, kalau hot air, dia dah, uh, air kalau dia dah hot, apa dia buat? Dia akan pergi kawasan lagi jauh. Dia akan lagi senang bergerak. So, the volume become bigger, the density become lower. Okay, so basically, bila ada hot air, density dia, density of air inside the balloon low. Inside the balloon tau, bukan outside. Inside the balloon. Ha, so, bila inside the balloon, macam salah je ajar kot balloon ni. 2L eh. 2O kot. Okay. Inside the balloon. Betul ke? Ha, ha, hantam sajalah. Okay, hot air. Ha, the density of air decreases inside the balloon. So, dekat luar, density of air kat luar lagi besar. So, dekat situ dia akan push di balloon up. Okay. So, sama juga kalau dia nak dia nak turunkan nanti, dia akan sejukkan. Okay, dia akan sejukkan supaya density of air dekat dalam tu bukan lagi higher, bukan lagi lower. So, dia akan start jatuh balik. Alright. Julia mabuk cinta. Apa hal lah Kim ni? <laughs> Kok okay tak Kim? Hmm. Cikgu baru baca chat. Partikel dia more collide. Oh tak boleh buat more collide. Uh, more collide eh. More collide. Macam tak kena more collide tu. Hmm, boleh kot more collide. More collision kot. Hmm. Okay next is Bernoulli. Bernoulli nak terangkan dia there's only four ayat. Hanya ada empat ayat. Uh, okay, so apa empat ayat dia? Oops. Okay. Okay. So, empat ayat, the start with, Bernoulli always start with speed of air or kalau pakai water, speed of water. Okay. Ayat nombor dua, based on Bernoulli, jangan lupa, dua L, principle. Ayat nombor tiga, apa jadi kepada pressure? Pressure, okay, pressure kat mana? Atas ke bawah ke? And then different pressure. Okay, what happened? Okay, okay selain lima tu. Okay, speed of air based on Bernoulli, pressure and different pressure, what happened? Okay, so kita cerita kat sini. Diagram show a piece of paper clamped to a red hot stand. Number one. And then, kalau kata tak ada air flow, tak ada air flow tu dia relax lah. Dia, dia dah macam tu lah ke bawah. Ha, so, paper tu ke bawah macam tu. Okay, macam cikgu warna biru ni. Ha, tapi sekarang, air flow. Okay, so bila ada air flow, so first kita speed. The speed of air above the paper is higher. Okay, number two, B. 
based on Bernoulli principle. Number three, pressure of air on the top is lower. Uh, so, boleh terus buat macam ni juga. Ayat nombor empat. Compared to pressure of air at the bottom of paper. So, last one. What happened? Okay. The pressure different. Cause the paper to lift up. Okay, empat ayat. Okay, empat ayat. Allah kuar. Tapi soalan ni mudah je. So empat ayat untuk Bernoulli. Okay. Any further question nak tanya? Okay. Ada? Soalan nak tanya? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, when air at high velocity blow on the top of the paper, the edge of paper will lift up. So jawapan dia adalah lift up. Mana pencetku? Okay. So the answer is lift up. Okay, tapi kenapa lift up? Empat ayat tadi. Start with the speed. Kedua, start Bernoulli. Ketiga, pressure. Baru pressure different. Last sekali, what happen? Uh, okay, itu yang kena ingat. Sama juga yang ni. Uh, 43 ni pun. Kalau kata kita disuruh terangkan, especially in paper 2. So, dia tanya, what happen to the flame of the candle? Okay, what happen to the candle flame? When this student blow strongly between the two candle. Okay, cerita dia sama. So, bila dia blow, the speed of air between the candle is higher. Number two, based on Bernoulli principle, the pressure of air between the two candle will be lower. Okay, so the pressure different between left and right, okay, push, the flame of candle towards each other. So, soalan dia, why the candle flame approach one another? Ha, tu soalan dia. Okay. So, the answer is because the pressure between the candle flame become low. Okay, pressure between the candle flame become low. Cerita dia sama. Okay, start dia dengan speed. Of air between the flame lower. Eh, sorry, lower plus speed higher. Speed higher. Number two, kita cerita pula pasal Bernoulli base on Bernoulli principle. Okay, 
so pressure between the candle flame low okay so ayat nombor tiga pressure different Push the flame towards each other. Ha, gitu. Okay, dapat? Dapat. Dapat. Okay, good. So apa-apa kalau bernoli itu yang kurang kena cerita. Okey. So apa-apa kalau bernoli itu yang kurang kena cerita. Dia memang cerita dia almost saja, almost sama. For every application, even kereta F1 ke kapal terbang ke still use this for. Okey, so next one. Okey, ni pun sama cerita dia bila dia tiup and what happen air naik macam tu. Dia tiup, air naik. Okay, kenapa? Cerita dia sama. When the boy blow the air, the speed of the air, okay, on the top of the glass rod is higher. Okay, the pressure will be lower. Okay, lepas tu, apa yang jadi? Yang tolak ni, atmospheric pressure push the water up. Ha. Which principle explain Bernoulli? Okay. Uh. Apa pula ni? Alright. Which equipment work based on Bernoulli? Suction pump, vacuum cleaner, Bunsen burner, hydraulic jack. Okay. Jawapan dia adalah Bunsen burner. Okay. So Bunsen burner. Hmm. Mana chat tadi? Apa chat baru? Okay. Tak ada chat baru. Alright. Okay, next one. Aerofoil attached at the back of Formula One. Okay, so Formula One, aerofoil dia terbalik. Kalau kapal terbang, aerofoil dia macam tu. Uh, okay, so kalau aeroplane, dia buat macam tu because dia nak higher speed of air. Okay, V is speed. Higher speed of air at the top. So based on Bernoulli principle, pressure will be lower at the top. So bawah will be higher pressure. So what happen? There will be a pressure different. So dari bawah tolak dia naik atas. Okay. Tapi F1 dia buat terbalik sebab dia nak bawah ni yang higher speed. Bernoulli kata high speed low pressure Compare dengan bahagian atas Atas lower speed Okay lower speed of air So pressure kat atas will be higher So comparing the pressure Atas lagi tinggi Bawah lagi rendah So Dia akan Okay kekalkan This F1 car Towards the earth ke bawah. Okay, so F1 dia tak terbang. Ha, so, two different dua ni. Okay, the question is, which statement is correct when the car moving faster? Okay, so X ke atas. X higher pressure because lower speed. Okay, lower speed, higher pressure. Bagian bawah, higher speed, low pressure. So, Y has low pressure at Y. 
So pressure at X higher than pressure at Y. Okay, pressure X higher than Y. That one. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, diagram show a top view of sailboat sailing again the direction of wind. Okay, ni sailboat tau. Maknanya kau daripada pandangan bawah dia macam tu lah. Rahu layak. Okay, ha, macam tu. Okay, so dia berdiri kat sini. Tangan dia pegang sini sebelah. Tangan dia pegang sini sebelah. Uh, okay, boleh faham tak? Tu pandangan tepi. Pandangan tepi. Yang dia lukis dari atas. Okay, daripada atas. On top view dari atas pandang ke bawah. Okay, maknanya kalau atas pandang bawah, orang kepala dia kat sini lah. Ha, dia tengah pegang sana. Kita nak pegang sini. Macam tu. Yang cikgu lukis ni pandangan dari tepi. Okay. So, diagram show a top view of sailboat sailing again the direction of wind. So, dia kena pandai baca angin. Sebab dia sendiri yang kena bengkokkan that sail. Layar tu dia kena bengkokkan. Okay. Dia nak bengkok untuk apa? To produce that uh, Aerofoil shape, so there will be a pressure different, okay, and then baru kapal tu boleh gerak ke depan, uh, baru sailboat tu gerak ke depan. So basically, main pertandingan ni maksudnya uh, kena pandai baca angin, uh, kena kuat, nak nak bengkok-bengkokkan dia punya tu, uh, tu dia punya game kat sini. Okay, but the question is, which direction A, B, C or D, the lift force acting on the sail? Okay, arah mana lift force bertindak kepada kapal layar. Okay, so layarnya kat sini. Okay, layar dia dekat sini. So basically, uh, kalau kita tengok. Okay, kalau kita tengok kat sini, bentuk dia. Uh, ni angin datang. Because of this shape, bentuk aerofoil tu, speed of air kat sini will be higher, pressure of air will be lower. Okay, compare bawah, bawah ni speed of air akan jadi lebih pelan. So, the pressure of air will be higher. So, pressure different tu dekat layar. So, bila pressure different kat layar, ke mana dia akan tolak kapal layar tu. Uh, so, where is the direction of force? So, force dia akan bertindak ikut layar. Okay, dia ikut layar. So, force dia akan bertindak warna purple ni ke arah sana. Okay, in this case, yang paling sesuai pun force dia adalah arah cacing. Uh, arah cacing. Okay. Ha. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Okay. Sama juga. Empat ayat. So, which one higher pressure? Okay. Kat mana ada higher pressure? Okay. Aeroplane of the wing. So, kawasan yang ada atas ni higher speed. Bawah ni lower speed. Okay, higher speed, lower speed. So, based on Bernoulli principle, higher speed, low pressure. Okay, lower speed, high pressure. 
Okay, which part A, B, C or D experience highest pressure? Jawapan dia donkey. Ha, tu kena. Jawapan dia donkey. Ha. Okay. Alright. Mobile toys too. Okay. So next. Ni pun sama. Kenapa ping pong ball attracted? It's still the same. Okay, so it's still the same. So, higher speed of water. Ah, tapi ini bukan air lah. Higher speed of water. And then, what happen bila higher speed of water? So, pressure kat sini. Higher speed. So, based on Bernoulli, pressure become low. So, apa jadi bila pressure become low? So, the ping pong ball, okay, higher pressure dekat belah tepi ni, push the ping pong ball towards the water. But which principle? It is Bernoulli principle. Okay, next one. Okay, dah nak masuk paper 2 dah hari ni. Okay, so 50, ah, ni cikgu cerita ni. Ah. So, diagram 9 show identical metal rod arranged vertically on the table. Ni cikgu pernah cerita hari tu. Pressure of solid. Okay, the weight of metal rod is 3 newton and its cross-sectional area is 3 times 10 to the power negative 3. Okay, so the question is what is the pressure exerted by the metal rod on the table? Okay. So this is a solid. There's only one formula. P equals to F over A. Okay. So the question asking you about a pressure. So kita kena tahu force. So you've been told that one rod is equal to 3 Newton. But kita ada 5 rod. Lima darab tiga. Okay, over an area. Area being given to you is 3 times 10 to the power of negative 3. But area of contact, uh, this area is area of contact. Yang sentuh is only 3. So, 3 times. So, kita akan dapat kat sini 15 Newton over 9 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So, kita dapat berapa pressure dia. Okay, you can calculate. Uish, patutlah pandai. Cik, tak buka kit. Aircon. Okay. Alright. Uh, cikgu kalau the deeper the sea, ada soalan kat sini. Cikgu kalau the deeper the sea level, the higher the pressure. Okay. Lower the speed. Meaning if any animal live in deeper part of the sea, move slow much. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Alright. So, Kat sini soalan dia, dia kata Okay, jap, jap, jap. Cikgu salin dulu soalan ni. Ha, ni penting. Sebab ni, ini takut salah konsep. Okay. Deeper the sea level the higher the pressure. Okay, betul. Cikgu boleh beritahu. Deeper sea level, higher pressure. Okay. 
the lower the speed. Okay, so ni kena hati-hati. Right. So, bila kita cerita macam air ni, ha, kalau contoh macam ni kat sini. Right. So, so dan dia next. Sekejap, cikgu betulkan dulu. Uh, meaning animal in deep water move slow motion ke? Okay, ni good question. Okay, so yang kalau kita kata higher speed, tengok eh, when we talk about Bernoulli, kita cerita Bernoulli eh, Bernoulli jadi syarat dulu. Syarat dia yang pertama, moving fluid. Fluid tu maksudnya sama ada liquid to move or ada liquid move ataupun uh, gas. Okay, tapi sharp laju je, yes. Memanglah sebab tu macam nak terang kat sini. Soalannya, adakah deeper sea level, pressure high? Betul, kat sini betul. Lagi dalam, lagi tinggi pressure. Because this one, for a liquid, the pressure is depend on the depth, density of that liquid and gravity. Okay. Ada tiga, pun, ada tiga sebab, ada tiga factor affect pressure of liquid. Okay, tapi yang cikgu bulat ni dia tak ada kaitan. Ha. Sebab tak semestinya kalau dekat bawah objek ini perlahan bukan? Okey. So yang cikgu cerita perlahan pressure rendah, tengok eh Bernoulli cerita apa dulu? Bernoulli tak cerita pasal pressure dulu. Bernoulli cerita speed dulu. Maksudnya kalau objek dalam air tak bergerak, dia tak apply Bernoulli. Okey, dia tak apply Bernoulli and untuk Bernoulli bukan pressure affect speed. Pressure tak affect speed. Speed effect pressure. Beza tau. Kalau speed effect pressure, maksudnya kalau objek tu tak gerak, dia tak ada speed, ada pressure dia tak ada apa-apa. Pressure dia macam contoh kalau kata kita kata ikan tadi kan. Okay. Ikan duduk dekat dalam, kata shark. Okay. Shark dekat dalam laut. Okay. So the pressure of the water towards the shark is depend on the density of that liquid and the height ataupun the depth of that shark position dia dekat mana. Okay. Itu pressure act upon the shark. Okay, tapi dia tak efek shark tu punya speed. Okay, dia tak efek shark tu punya speed. Ha. Yang lower speed ni kalau moving. Kalau liquid tu bergerak, kalau gas bergerak. Bukan shark bergerak sebab shark solid. Okay, shark solid. Kira solid lah sebab satu ikan kan. So, either dia liquid bergerak atau gas bergerak. Tapi dalam air, dalam air, okay, dalam air tau. Kalau kita macam scuba, air tu tak gerak sangat pun. Air tu tak gerak laju. Air tak gerak laju. And Bernoulli only apply at certain speed. Macam kapal terbang, okay, Bernoulli apply bila nak ada pressure different. Untuk Bernoulli apply for kapal terbang, dia kena capai 300 km per hour. Baru ada efek Bernoulli. Uh, okay. Yes, deep water animal ada their own adaptation to live in the high pressure. Yes, betul. Uh, so memang dah diciptakan uh, setiap hidupan kalau walaupun dia duduk dekat deep water tapi dia still boleh survive. Okay, memang dia ada different adaptation. Uh, itulah itulah dia punya kelebihan. Okay. Aku orang boleh tengok ke Aquaria. Eh? Cuba pergi Aquaria kot. Aquaria, Aquaria ke kat mana cuba pergi hari tu? Dia ada tunjuk deep water uh, creatures. Uh, okay, ada nampak anglerfish fang fish ada nampak kat situ. Hmm, tapi tak pernah lagi orang buat makan lah. Okay, so bagi. 15 bagi 9 korang akan dapat satu point tujuh. Point tujuh. Ya. Okay. So satu soalan 2008 pressure solid. After that pressure liquid. Okay, diagram show a water container being Uh, tilted to increase the outflow of the speed of water. Ha, ni selalu berlaku kat mana ni? Ha, ni kalau korang pergi kenduri kan, kadang-kadang pergi kenduri yang jenis basuh tangan pakai 
bekas air ha, Sebab tu air pula dah habis tinggal kat bawah Macam ni nak bagi air keluar bengkokkan ha, So sama juga tujuan dia to increase the depth and increase the pressure So which factor increase the speed of water? Ha, the speed of water basically depend on the pressure of water dalam case ni And then the pressure of water depend on the depth Sebab tu kalau kita tengok air makin lama makin sikit, depth dia dah makin kurang, dia pun tak nak keluar sangat. That's pressure of water. So depan ni kalau cuci tangan dekat tempat orang kahwin tu, so korang tahu oh ini pressure water. Lepas tu ada makcik belakang beratur kan begitu. Makcik ni tahu tak? Makcik tahu tak ni? Saya tonggang ni kenapa? This is because of pressure of water. Bawa makcik tu kagum sikit terus buat menantu. Kalau anak dia perempuan buat menantu Hmm, right. <laughs> Kalau anak dia perempuan dia tanya ada tak abang ke kan adik ke Ni mesti keturunan bagus-bagus ni Tengok ni pun boleh cerita fizik ha, kan Abang tak sepandai <laughs> Alah kalau dia tidak ada anak perempuan dia mesti kena-kena dengan sepupu dia ke ha, Adik dia belum kahwin ke kan umur dah 40 So dia kena dengan korang Okay So the gas pressure in a container is caused by a collision of gas molecule with a wall of container Which one of the change will increase the gas pressure? Tadaa Gas pressure Okay so kalau kita nak increase gas pressure Kita kena increasekan dia punya collision Okay lagi dia berlanggar lagi tinggi pressure dia Okay macam mana kita nak bagi dia berlanggar lagi banyak berlanggar. Okay. So first increase the average velocity, increase the volume, decrease the mass, decrease the temperature. Okay. Yang pertama, kita tengok dulu, kita ambil dulu jawapan korang apa? Ha, press rasanya nak bagi gas tu lagi lagi banyak berlanggar. So lagi banyak the collision with each other, the pressure will be higher. Okay. Which one is the most suitable and the possible answer? A. A. Okay, A. Okay, kita tengok kenapa B salah. If you increase the volume, okay, contoh yang macam ni. Ni bekas, cikgu mampatkan. And we have something like this. Okay, this two. So, Kata lah cikgu buat sini, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, cikgu buat 10 titik kat situ, mewakili 10 molecule of gas. So kat sini cikgu buat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So the second one, volume is bigger. So ni volume is lower. So mana lagi cepat berlanggar? The smaller volume. So kalau kita nak dia berlanggar, kita tak boleh ada bigger volume. So kita kena decrease the volume. So decrease volume, high pressure. Higher volume, low pressure. And basically, this is also being studied by the next chapter, chapter 4. This is also a boy's law. Okay, boy's law. So B tu salah. Decrease the mass, so decrease the mass meaning the molecule will be lower So less molecule, less collision, so less pressure Okay, decrease the temperature, if decrease the temperature, what happen? If you decrease the temperature, ni kena ingat This one will affect Kinetic, kinetic energy You decrease the temperature the kinetic energy decrease. So kinetic energy, the formula is half of mass of gas times the velocity square. So if you decrease the energy, and you decrease the temperature, you decrease the energy. When you decrease the energy, you will have low speed. So low speed, you will have less collision of Gas. Less collision of gas, less pressure. Okay, less pressure. 
That's why the answer is E. Aduh. Okay, boleh? Boleh. Okay, so dah ada, tengok eh. Solid dah ada, liquid dah ada. Gas and atmospheric. Gas, dia topik dia gas and atmospheric. So soalan ni dia tanya pasal gas, atmospheric tak keluar dah lah. So dia pergi kepada next principle which is a Pascal principle. So Pascal principle, the first concept kita kena tahu closed system. Number one. Number two, selain daripada closed system, the pressure is equal. Okay, there's four things you need to remember. It must be a closed system and the pressure is equal. Pressure 1 equals to pressure 2 but the force is not equal. The force if you have smaller area, the force will be lower. If you have bigger area, the force will be higher. Okay, to increase the force, increase the area. Diagram 11 show two syringe of different size used to study a Pascal principle. The force applied to the small syringe 5 Newton. And the cross-sectional area is 5 times 10 to the power negative 4 M2. The force produced on the large piston is 20 Newton. And what will be the area here? Okay. Mathematically, kalau dari 5 Newton, it increased to 20 Newton, maksudnya the force has increased by 4 times. 4 kali ganda. So, kalau dah increase 4 kali ganda, you need to increase the area by 4 times juga. Ha, kena buat 4 juga. So, secara logiknya 5 darab dengan 4 dapat sini. Okay, tapi kalau kita nak pakai formula, the formula will be this. Pressure in the piston, small piston, will equal to the pressure in the large piston. And piston is a solid. Formula for pressure of solid will be force smaller piston, area smaller piston, force large piston, area large piston. So rearrange, you want to get area of large piston, force in large over force in small times area in small. So 20 divided by 5 times 5 times 10 to the power negative 4 you get potong potong 20 darab 10 negative 4 will be 2 times 10 negative 3 meter. Eh, negative 4, negative 3 ada. Hmm. Okay. So, 4 soalan, 1 soalan kira. Hmm. Okay, next one. Bernoulli. Okay. Two light cans are placed on a row of straw when the student blows. Blows air in between the can, the two can move closer to each other. Okay, tapi dia kena blow tu pun kena betul-betul laju punya ni lah, speed of air. Takat takat tiup-tiup, tiup-tiup macam tiup apa, tiup uh, lilin dekat kek tu lah tak boleh lah. Ha, tu slow. Dia kena laju, higher speed. Then there will be a different in pressure, then the can move towards each other. Okay, so soalan dia adalah, this situation can be explained by Bernoulli. Okay, habis Bernoulli, habis. Okay, maknanya apa subtopik yang tak ada tahun 2018? Hmm. Dalam paper 1. Apa subtopik yang tak ada? Ha, ha. Cikgu, can you repeat your question? 
my question is based on the question yang ada dekat 2018 which subtopic yang tak keluar okay so we have pressure pressure in liquid pressure in gas and atmospheric pascal and bernoulli so apa yang tak ada kat paper 1 Archimedes. Archimedes. Okay. So memang setiap tahun dia takkan boleh keluarkan enam subtopik. So this this uh, chapter dia ada enam subtopik. Eh ni tujuh. Eh ni enam. Uh, tak nampak. Enam. Okay. Enam subtopik. So enam subtopik selalunya keluarnya lima. Satu lagi tak keluar. Okay. Tapi selalu selalunya yang tak keluar tu adalah ini. Uh, selalunya gas selalunya lah uh, yang ni kerap all the principle kerap okey nanti kita akan tengok paper 2 sebab archimedes tak ada dekat sini ada tak archimedes kat paper 2 uh. okey so itulah dia paper 1 so kau nampak paper 1 dia pun tak banyak kira, -kira dia uh, okey dia tak banyak kira, kira alright Any question sebelum kita masuk paper 2 sikit? So far so good. So far so good. Okay. So before kita masuk paper 2, cikgu nak tunjuk dekat korang. Daripada 6 subtopik, cuba tengok subtopik apa yang tak keluar dalam paper 2. Langsung tak keluar daripada 2011 sampai 2018 and tahun sebelum-sebelum tu pun tak keluar juga. Topik ni pressure P equals to F over K. So dia tak ada satu soalan that only focus on that one. Tak ada. Tapi kalau campur-campur dia lah. Campur-campur ada. Tapi dia tak pernah ada keluar dia seorang. And kalau tengok kat sini pun dia tak pernah keluar. Sampai di bulan 18 dia tak pernah keluar. So untuk paper 2 for this chapter you should concentrate on the principle the three principle and also boleh nampak kat situ gas and atmospheric. Uh, so yang liquid pun jarang. Liquid keluar satu. Satu je. Itu pun di bulan 18 bahagian E. Okay. So next one. Alright, so next is section A. Gas pressure and atmospheric pressure. Okay, so macam cik yang korang kena, dia macam ni. Uh, cikgu cuba ringkaskan apa yang korang perlu ingat. Uh, but but I'm not sure benda tu efektif ke tak. But I thought it's effective lah. So macam gas pressure, atmospheric pressure, apa yang korang kena ingat. Contoh macam gas pressure, apa nama alat dia. Okay, so gas pressure, nama alat dia, you should remember it is menu. Kalau atmospheric, baro. Okay, and barometer, the most popular one is yang macam bawah tu. Which is mercury barometer. Alright, and barometer untuk atmospheric, kita tahu ada tiga unit yang dia guna. Okay, pressure of atmospheric, there's three unit. Either measuring the mercury, so it will be 76 centimeter height of mercury because itu je kebolehan atmospheric nak tolak mercury and if you, if you use a water as the liquid, it will be 10 meter of water and if you want to calculate the atmospheric pressure in Pascal, you use a formula of liquid H rho G and the answer will be 1 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal. Okay. So, kalau nak kira HRG tu, density of mercury will be 13,600. And density of liquid is 1, of water is 1,000. Okay, nanti kalau kita, kalau korang nak buat, masukkan nombor, you will get the same answer which is this answer. Okay, and another thing, atmospheric kena ingat is only changed by altitude. Altitude tu apa? Altitude tu kawasan 
tinggi. Okay, kawasan tinggi, kawasan rendah, altitude. At sea level, this is the value at sea level. Okay, at sea level, this is the value. Yeah, 76 centimeter mercury, 10 meter of water, and 1 times 10 to the power 5. Okay, ini soalan SPM 2014. Soalan dia nombor 2. Soalan nombor 2, markahnya tak banyak. It's only 5 marks. Okay, 5 markah. So, diagram show an instrument which is used to measure atmospheric pressure. Tengok soalan pertama. Based on the diagram, dia akan tanya name the instrument. Sebab tu kalau untuk SPM, cikgu suruh ingat. Manometer or barometer. Sebab dari dulu dia akan tanya benda tu. Name the instrument, name the instrument, name the instrument, name the instrument. So, this is... Kalau bijak, kita tulis barometer. Okay. Kalau lebih bijak, kalau bijak, barometer. Kalau lebih bijak sikit, apa dia? Mercury barometer. Thank you. Uh, mercury barometer. Ataupun barometer mercury. Good. Okay, name one reason why mercury is used. Okay. So, kita kan bijak. Tak bagilah satu. So, apa reason yang pertama? OPEC. High density. Okay. Ma, bagi dua. Okay. And then another thing is basically mercury kan kalau dia expand, dia expand dia orang panggil apa? Uniform. Maksudnya dia naik tu sama-sama. Okay, dia kita naik bersama, kita turun bersama. Okay, up sama-sama. Itu -sama. mercury punya ni. Okay, so based on the diagram, state the atmospheric pressure in unit centimeter mercury. Okay, so dia suruh bagi tahu dalam centimeter mercury. So, centimeter mercury means 76 centimeter mercury. Ha, tu unit dia. Okay, soalan daripada kawan korang apa ni? Kalau kita cakap accurate boleh ke cikgu? Ah, accurate yang mana? Untuk reason ke? Give one reason why mercury is used in the instrument. Reason dia accurate. Eh, tak boleh, tak boleh. Uh, reason dia accurate tak boleh. Dia, dia macam bila dia tanyakan kenapa tu macam uh, Maknanya kalau kita cakap accurate Adakah kalau kita guna water dia jadi tak accurate? Atau cikgu guna barometer air sirap dia jadi tak accurate? Ha. Nak buat nak buat barometer pakai air sirap pun boleh ha. Cuma masalah kena carilah berapa density air sirap hmm. okay. Contoh kan kata OPEC pakai water tak boleh sebab water dia Translucent kita nampak kan ha. So kita nak kita nak pakai yang Ni, so kita pun ambil lah, uh, kita buat barometer pakai minyak hitam ke, uh, boleh. Tapi masalahnya, kita tak tahu dia punya density. Okay, so, and kita pakai mercury, to other things. Uh, tapi sekarang dah tak ada eh, uh, sekarang dah tak ada. Dekat lab pun dah tak ada, sebab mercury korang pun tahu dia, apa nama tu. Uh, in English, we call it as, uh, dia bukan corrosive, corrosive lain. Apa nama, nama term dia, korang ingat tak? Uh, dia bukan korosif. Korosif ni kalau kena berlubang tangan kau. Um, uh, ya Allah. Ada tak sesapa ingat? Poisonous. Poisonous. Yang serap tangan tu ke? Ha? Huh? Yang kalau letak kat pam masa dia serap. Ah, dia. Ah, ah, ah. Dia, macam, dia macam serap tu. Apa dia panggil? Kalau bahasa Melayu dia, dia panggil merengsa. Tu bahasa Melayu lah, merengsa. Tapi bahasa Inggeris cikgu tak ingat lah. Tapi bahasa Melayu pun pelik kat cikgu tak faham. Merengsa tu apa. Dia ada term dia, dia macam dia macam menyerap tau. So kalau korang pegang, nanti dia masuk kat korang punya ni. Tik ke cikgu? Macam mana? Macam mana? Dia imitate the skin. Ah, almost correct. Dia macam, ah yes. Um, uh, dia akan boleh masuk ah dia boleh masuk. Okay, yang kita takut dia masuk and then dia jadi sebab dia ada, dia ada, dia ada sifat macam tu. Mercury dia punya sifat kalau dia jumpa kawan dia, dia, dia akan bercantung dengan kawan dia tau. Maksudnya kalau mercury, kalau letak mercury, 
kalau kita ada mercury lah, letak mercury and then kalau letak mercury jauh sikit and then then, then dia akan cuba rapat faham tak? and then dia akan jadi one ni so kalau dia masuk dalam badan, takut dia jadi blockage ha, macam tu lah, another, another one volatile, volatile eh, sekejap check sikit google translate Wah, zaman kurang senang. Apa-apa Google Translate je. Volatile in Malay. Tidak menentu. Wah, tidak menentu pula. Benda ni bahasa dia tak ambil bahasa sains. Tidak tetap pendirian. Mudah meluap. Meluap. Ha, yes, yes, meluap. Yes, betul. Okay, betul lah tu. Volatile. Okay, so next, dia suruh calculate the atmospheric pressure in Pascal. Okay, so in Pascal, ha, ni selalunya, oh cikgu nak pakai formula apa? Waktu belajar gas pressure, tak ada pun formula. Dia memanglah tak ada formula. Because yang dia letak dalam alat tu, is a liquid. So the formula that you use is a formula for a liquid. The depth of the liquid, the density and the gravity. Okay, cuma kat sini, the depth will be zero 0.76 meter. Okay, kena tahu yang ni 76 centimeter. Kita tak nak centimeter. Kita nak meter. Okay, times with density 13.6 times 10 to the power of 3. So basically sama lah macam cikgu terang tadi. 136, 1, 2, 3. 13,600 juga. Sama je. Okay, so unit dia kg over m3. Then times with gravity, 10 ms negative 2. Gravitational acceleration. So potong m1, potong sini m, tinggal m2. Potong m sini 1, potong lagi m, tinggal 1 m. So kita akan dapat unit dia. Uh, 1 kalau bundakan. 10 kuasa 5 kg. M negatif 1, second negatif 2. Okay. So, it's also known as Pascal. Okay. Okay. Dapat tak? Dapat. Hmm. Okay, good. Okay, soalan berikutnya. Okay. Yang ini, uh, okay, yang ini, yang ini dia berkait dengan uh, soalan nombor lima. So, soalan nombor lima dia adalah apa orang panggil? Compare. Uh, Soalnya compare lah, compare. So, diagram show the reading of Bodin gauge, boden gauge before the piston of a bicycle pump is pushed inward. Diagram 5.2 show the reading of boden gauge when the piston of the bicycle pump is pushed inward. Satu belum tolak, second one dah tolak. So the different kat sini kita boleh nampak ni dalam ni volume of gas is higher. Tapi pump yang bawah dah jadi kawasan sempit sikit. So volume of gas is lower. So based on this one, body gauge ni, pressure of gas is low. This one, pressure of gas is high. Okay, pressure of gas is high. Okay, so kalau kita nak ukur gas pressure, you use manometer. Tadi kita kata ada manometer kan? Okay, kalau gas pressure, manometer. Gas pressure, you use manometer. But you use manometer if gas pressure tu jenis ni tau. Low. Uh, low gas pressure boleh pakai manometer. Uh, kalau jenis high gas pressure, 
jenis kalau pressure tu tinggi Okay, kita tak pakai manometer, kita akan tukar dengan Foreign gauge ha. Two different dia High Pakai ni Low, pakai ni Okay, sebab boleh kita nampak kat sini unit dia kilo pascal uh, The unit is higher pressure, kilo pascal Okay, dia pakai kilo pascal Okay, so based on the diagram, take the correct answer. Borden gauge can measure gas pressure. Okay, lima soalan berikutnya, lima markah berikutnya is compare and akan dapat uh, apa tu? Lima markah lah, compare, 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 relationship, compare, 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 relationship. Okay, first, compare the volume of air inside the bicycle pump. Okay, compare the volume of air inside the bicycle pump. So, volume siapa banyak? Macam mana comparison dia? Okay, so siapa nak tulis dulu? Apa ayat comparison? Okay, cikgu tengok dekat chat. Uh, apa korang punya ayat comparison? Ha, 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 ha. Volume of air inside the bicycle pump in diagram 5.1 is higher than 5.2. Okay, thank you. Betul. Volume of air inside the bicycle pump in 5.1 higher then 5.2 Eh by the way lupa nak beritahu korang uh, Dah tak boleh buat simbol So kena jawab penuh Okay uh, Untuk comparison dah tak boleh buat simbol Kena jawab penuh uh, Kena jawab macam ni lah ya. Jawab macam ni Volume of air inside the bicycle pump is uh, higher than 5.2 Okay compare the pressure produced inside the bicycle pump Pressure produced in bicycle pump 5.1 is lower than 5.2 Okay Alright, number 3. Cuba bagi korang cuba Compare the number of air particle inside the bicycle. Okay. Okay. Ha, macam ni comparison dia. The number of air particles inside the bicycle pump in diagram 5.2 is higher than 5.1. Okay. Okay, 5.2 higher than 5.1. So jawapan dia adalah number of air particle inside Bicycle pump in both pump are the same. Ah, okay. Partikel dia sama. Okay, partikel dia sama. Alright, so cikgu tunjuk balik. It is similar something macam tadi lah. Okay, ni pump. Right, ni pump. Lepas tu ni, dia baca pressure. Okay, lepas tu kita ada pump. Lepas tu ni baca pressure. 
Okay, particle dia sama. Maksudnya kalau cikgu buat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sini pun cikgu buat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, cuma dekat bawah ni sebabkan dia punya volume dah kecil. Okay. Volume of air. Smaller. What happen? Rate of collision between air higher. So, bila dia collect lalu laju, selalu, selalu sangat collision. So, it produce high pressure. Okay. So, yang atas, volume of air is higher. So, kawasan besar. So, kawasan besar susahlah dia nak collide. So, less collision. Kalau dah less collision, produce less pressure. Even though for both number of particle is same. Okay. Dapat tak? Dapat. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, next. So, tiga compare, dua relationship. State the relationship between volume of air inside the bicycle pump with the pressure produced. Okay, state the relationship between volume of air inside the bicycle pump with the pressure produced. Okay. So... The volume inside the bicycle pump decreases the pressure increase. Okay, volume decrease, pressure increase. Okay, state the physics law. So, ini sebenarnya dia dah termasuk bab 4 sebenarnya. So, this is basically a boy's law. Okay, so based on the answer to C. What happened to the kinetic energy of the air particle when the air is compressed? Okay, apa jadi kepada kinetic energy dia? Kalau dia kena compress tadi. Ha, ni pun another thing yang korang kena tahu. It increases. Okay, why? Okay, kata increases. Why? Sebab collision happens more frequently. Okay. Alright. Okay, dapat tak? Cikgu biarkan dulu ha, kalau korang dia nak salin. Uh, 
Ah, ni penting kau nak salin eh. Okay. So, any further question? Okay, lepas tu topik lain. Ha. Okay, kita stop sampai sini dulu. Baik, lepas tu topik lain. Archimedes. Setakat ni ada ada soalan? Untuk yang ni? Ada. Tak ada. Ada. Cikgu rasa ni simple je untuk yang ni. Okay yang yang berat sikit nanti bila Archimedes Bernoulli. Okay and Archimedes Bernoulli paper 2. Bahagian-bahagian B. Archimedes Bernoulli bahagian B. Okay Archimedes Bernoulli bahagian B. Pascal sikit je. Hmm. Paper 2 Pascal sikit. Okay Bernoulli juga. Pressure liquid, itu uh, saja. Hmm, paper 3. Alright, habis. Itulah dia kita ambil sampai situ dulu. Uh, so, esok kita masuk sini pula. Okay. So, esok kita punya kelas pukul teng 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 teng. Esok 21 hari bulan. Pukul 8. Yeah. Okay, esok pukul 8. Okay. Eh, hari ni hari apa? Ha? Sabtu ke Ahad? Sabtu. Sabtu lah. Okay, Sabtu. Okay. Macam mana cikgu anggap? Cikgu ingat hari ni Ahad. Orang yang Sabtu. Okay. So, esok Ahad, Isnin. Selasa. Eh, lepas tu Rabu korang balik? Sabtu. Selasa kita. Selasa korang balik? Aik. Oh yelah esok lah. Eh. Esok Ahad, Isnin. Oh Isnin lah last. Okey okey okey. Betul lah selasa korang balik. Okey okey. Hmm lepas tu korang balik dah. Oh tak tahulah kita jumpa bila. Okey. Right, cikgu stop dulu. Tadi tadi. Hmm. Okey. So itulah dia untuk petang ni. So petang macam ngantuk sikit eh. Mm. Mm. Boleh lah Boleh lah Mana better? Pagi ke petang? Ke malam? Saya suka pagi Pagi Saya suka malam pagi. Malam? Ah, malam. Suka malam Saya suka malam Saya suka malam Pagi saya ngantuk <laughs> Yelah ada orang dia, dia, dia pagi dia ngantuk Malam dia okey hmm. Ni geng-geng Geng-geng apa tu orang panggil? Apa nama tu? Geng-geng burung hantu ha. Relax agak Okay, again twilight. Okay. So, kita jumpa esok pukul 8 pagi. Nanti cikgu bagi dia punya ni. Schedule. Alright. Okay, so selamat petang. Eh, selamat petang apa dah? Selamat maghrib dah. Uh, okay, bolehlah bagi mandi-mandi dah nak maghrib. Okay, bye-bye semua. Kita jumpa esok pagi. Assalamualaikum. 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 Assalamualaikum.